Hello, RSU faculty. This is Troy Gerard, the instructional designer here in the School of Professional Studies. I wanted to take a quick minute to show you guys how to pair a class if you are going to be using McGraw-Hill SimNet for any of your courses. This is a tool that we have through our publisher, McGraw-Hill, and we also have a partner cloud tool that allows us to move assignments into Blackboard for a seamless environment for our students. So the first thing I want to do is go to a course that I want to link a, a course to or pair a course with. I'll go out and show you in my SimNet account. I do have this test course here that's available. Uh, and this is the course that I want to pair my Blackboard course to. So I'll go into Blackboard. I'll go down to Books and Tools. It says View Course Institution Tools. I'm going to click that. You see that I have a SimNet icon up here. That's because I've done this already, but I want to uh, show you where you're going to get it for the first time. You're going to go down to the bottom, hit Browse All Course Tools. And in the center of your screen, you'll see McGraw-Hill Education. You're going to click this arrow and you'll see SimNet. The very first time that you click this button, it's going to take you to a page that says, uh, do you want to allow Blackboard to communicate with your SimNet accounts? You go ahead and agree to that and hit Launch then you're going to want to sign into SimNet. If you don't have a SimNet account, you can actually create one on that page. Uh, if you do have an account, go ahead and sign in. The next page you'll come to is a page that says, well, what account are we going to? We can see that we're in Roger State. You'll put RSU there if it is not already and hit next. The next page you'll see we have options to either A, select my test course or an existing class that we have. See, my classes are all classes. These are all the classes that are out there currently that have been linked in the past from our institution. This is the only one that I own currently for myself. So we can link to a class or I can start a new class right on this page. Give it a title, a section, you know, a module, a default module. Uh, and then also I can copy from an existing class if I wanted to go out and find that this was the fall. Um, you know, for that particular course. In this instance, I'm going to select the one I own and hit next. And very successfully, I am paired with that particular class. Now, if I wanted to, I can go back to Blackboard at this point and to my sandbox course, but I'm actually going to go ahead into SimNet. And now I want to choose what assignments I am going to be moving over into Blackboard. So I click continue to SimNet and we come to this page here that shows all of our class content within that course under that particular section, un under that particular class that we have. And we have this little uh, page over here that is our integration into our LMS. It does have instructions on how to do that here up at the top, but simply you're gonna go to each individual assignment that you wanna move over and move it right into that root. And you'll see that it moves right under that. This route is just the main link that we have to our system. So we can move as many over as we want into this page. I'll go ahead and move these three over. Uh, and we can go ahead and finalize this by clicking this button, finish to deploy it to Blackboard. I'm going to hit confirm. And now it moves us into a page that it wants, uh, Blackboard is wanting us to categorize these. They know that their assignments, we're moving them into our gradebook. And it says, do we want to keep them under the category, the category defined by SimNet application? Uh, but in this instance, I actually have an existing category in my Blackboard gradebook called assignments. Uh, this is already weighted based on my syllabus. I'm going to go ahead and hit ass uh, assignments here. I'm going to select all of the ones that apply and I'll hit submit. So now once it's submitted, it's going to land us back on our home page of our course. And you'll see that we have our three assignments here. I can then move them where I want to. So you can do that there very simply. Uh, we can hide them to the, you know, hide them from the students or show them to the students, make them visible. Go into our gradebook. You can see that it actually put it in the gradebook for us. We want to organize this page. We can find these two arrows here and move them where we want to. So now we can organize our gradebook. The due dates and the time and the points are all based on 
what we told it to be in our SimNet course. If I refresh this screen, you can actually see that it's paired with our system now. So we can still manage our courses within SimNet if we want to. We're managing our assignments once they are deployed over into Blackboard. This makes one gradebook, one place where the students are getting our assignments. Uh, if they're ever in this uh, screen, they can always hit return to LMS here up at the top. And if we want to get back to that page where we were dragging and dropping things to move over, we simply go back to this tools link and go to this SimNet link now that would be on the top of our menu. And we can continue with moving these in. Of course, it doesn't really matter what orientation or what organization we have in this menu here, because again, we can move them, drag and drop them into Blackboard as needed. If you wanted to remove this one, we can simply select it and we can remove that assignment and it'll be moved back over here. So I added one, I can go ahead and hit deploy and confirm. Again, it's gonna take us back to that categories page I'm going to tell this one that it's a test based on my Blackboard uh, category that it is a test. And I can hit Submit. And again, it moves us right here on our home page. We can move that into a module or to a folder if we want to. And it knows that it's a test signifying this icon right here because we just told that it was a test within the Blackboard system. So very straightforward. Uh, for any student that has had multiple attempts and we need to refresh the gradebook to, uh, to, to show this, we're gonna go back to that tool under our menu and you'll see that there's an arrow here. We select that arrow and we have this refresh connect, uh, uh, refresh content button. This is the same for McGraw-Hill Connect as well as SimNet. We can then select all of the ones that we want to refresh in our gradebook, and we hit Submit. Again, this is for if multiple attempts are taken and maybe the systems uh, haven't shown the most accurate grade. Now we are forcing the system to show the most accurate grade with it, the Blackboard gradebook. All right? So if you have any questions, reach out to, out to me. Again, my name is Troy Gerard. I'm the instructional designer here in the School of Professional Studies. Uh, reach out to me. My phone number here on campus is 343-7519. Uh, you can email me at troygerard at rsu.edu, or you can stop by my office here in Harrington Hall at 229B up on the second floor, close to the elevator. So uh, if not, you can ask our, our office uh, there in the front of the building. So again, reach out to me if you have any questions, if you need any help with this, uh, or if you just have general questions about our LMS and our, and our publisher tools, uh, go ahead and reach out to me and I can answer the best that I can. All right. I will see you guys on the next video. Hope this helped. I'll see you next time. Take care.